$2,000 stimulus check IRS sends today for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA. It's time to share some fantastic news. The IRS has announced that they're sending out $2,000 stimulus checks starting today, and guess what? If you receive Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits, you're in line to get one. This video is all about breaking down the details in easy terms. We want to make sure everyone understands who can get this money, how it's being sent out, and what steps you need to take to ensure you receive your check without any delays. In these challenging times, every dollar counts. That's why it's crucial to stay informed and take advantage of this financial support if you're eligible. Whether it's covering bills, buying groceries, or simply providing some much-needed relief, these stimulus checks are here to help. So, join us as we walk you through the process, answering all your questions along the way. We'll cover everything from eligibility requirements to how to track your payment if you haven't received it yet. Don't miss out on this opportunity to claim your $2,000 stimulus check. Watch now and make sure you're on track to receive the support you deserve. First things first, we need to confirm if you actually qualify for this special $2,000 stimulus payment. The eligibility requirements are relatively straightforward. You must be a current recipient of one of the following federal benefits, Social Security Retirement Benefits, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, VA Compensation, or Pension Benefits. There are no income limits, phase-outs, or complicated criteria to navigate like we saw with previous pandemic stimulus checks. If you get any of those four benefit types, you are eligible for the full $2,000 payment plain and simple. The only main exceptions are for higher income individuals who may have their payments reduced or eliminated based on their most recent tax returns filed with the IRS. Specifically, single tax filers over $75,000 in adjusted gross income, joint filing married couples over $150,000 AGI, those above those thresholds could see their $2,000 payment reduced by as much as $200 for every $1,000 of income above the limits, with the highest earners potentially receiving no stimulus at all. But for the vast, vast majority of beneficiaries living on fixed federal payments from Social Security, SSDI, SSI, or VA programs, you'll be getting that full $2,000 payment sent out right away with no additional hoops to jump through. So head to step two if you clear that initial eligibility hurdle based on your benefit type. Because the IRS really is trying to get this cash into your hands immediately given these extreme financial pressures. Since this is designated as an emergency stimulus payment, the IRS doesn't have the luxury of going through its normal, pokey processes and procedures that can take many months. Their objective is to get this money out within days based on the information they already have on file. So your next critical step is logging into your federal benefits account online and confirming that your bank account and mailing address details are 100% accurate in the system. I can't stress enough how important this step is. If this payment gets sent to an old or invalid address that you haven't updated, or if they try pushing that $2,000 to a closed bank account, you can pretty much guarantee it's going to create a massive delay that you absolutely want to avoid. For those receiving Social Security Retirement Benefits or SSDI, you'll want to head to ssa.gov and either create or log into your My Social Security Online account. Once inside, go to the Payment History section and check that every digit of your direct deposit bank account details are correct. If any information needs updating, the website will walk you through the process of editing or adding a new bank account to receive payments. This should be your top priority to ensure that $2,000 stimulus gets sent to the right place. You'll also want to confirm your home mailing address is up to date just in case the IRS needs to physically mail you a check or debit card rather than direct deposit. For SSI recipients through the Social Security Administration, the same rules apply get into your My Social Security account and make certain all your banking and address info is present, updated, and fully accurate. If you receive VA benefits, you'll need to go into your eBenefits account through the VA website at va.gov. Here you can access and edit any outdated banking information or mailing addresses on file. I know some of these online portals can be a bit clunky to navigate. But this is a crucial, 
crucial step because the IRS is automatically pulling your payment details directly from these benefits agencies like Social Security and the VA. If anything is wrong or missing, like an old address you moved from years ago, your stimulus money could easily get sent to the wrong place and delayed by weeks or even months in trying to correct the situation. Let's avoid any unnecessary headaches and update everything immediately. Okay, once you've updated all your payment channel and address details in the system, the next step is making sure to set up direct deposit if you haven't already done so. Here's why this is so important. While the IRS has stated they will automatically mail out checks or pre-loaded debit cards to recipients who don't have direct deposits set up, this is clearly the slowest and most cumbersome stimulus payment delivery method. Based on past experience, people counting on those physical mail payments often experience a wait time of anywhere from 4-8 weeks from when the initial payments start going out. That delay is something many simply can't afford right now. The fastest way by far to get this emergency $2,000 stimulus payment into your hands is clearly by having your direct deposit bank account information properly set up with whichever federal agency pays your benefits. Why is direct deposit categorically the fastest method? Well, the IRS has come out and explicitly stated that all electronic payments sent via direct deposit are being prioritized and processed first before any check or debit card payments even get mailed out. So if your bank routing and account details are already set up and updated properly per the previous step, congratulations you're at the front of the line to get that $2,000 hitting your account within days as part of the very first wave of payments being issued. That's the dream scenario. For those who haven't set up direct deposit yet, I'd make it your singular top priority to do so right now through your online benefits portal or by giving them a call. Having that cash payment directly deposited into your bank account virtually guarantees you'll get that money exponentially faster than waiting on a check. In fact, you may even want to check if you have the option to get these emergency stimulus payments through newer digital portals like Cash App, PayPal, or mobile banking apps instead of dealing with traditional direct deposit. Many are finding these methods to be even quicker. But once you've ensured your electronic payment channel is opened and can receive the stimulus payment, you're pretty much all set with the process on your end. As long as your bank account details made it through properly, that $2,000 should arrive without issue by the first couple of days in April at the absolute latest. Now we play the difficult game of waiting patiently. But there's absolutely no need to sit around clueless, constantly wondering whether that money will actually land in your account or not. The good folks at the IRS have relaunched their popular Get My Payment online tracking tool specifically for these new $2,000 stimulus checks being issued right now. And you'll certainly want to take advantage of this handy website. To use the tool, you'll just need to go to irs.gov slash getmepayment and enter some very basic information like your social security number or taxpayer ID number, date of birth, current mailing address, once logged in, the Get My Payment portal will let you see an up-to-the-minute status on your specific $2,000 stimulus payment so you know precisely when to expect that money to hit and be available for use. It will tell you if your payment has been issued yet or not. It will confirm which delivery mechanism is being used direct deposit, physical check, or debit card. And it will even allow you to provide new bank account details if needed. The IRS updates this tracking data once per day overnight, so you'll want to make it a daily habit to check first thing every morning for any changes regarding the status of your specific $2,000 payment. According to the official IRS timeline that's been published, the absolute last day for all electronic stimulus payments including direct deposit transfers to be processed and completed is April 7. Mark that date on your calendar as it should represent the end of this first payment wave. Physical checks and debit cards being sent through the mail will continue going out over the several weeks following April 7. But virtually all direct deposits need to be in accounts by that April 7 date based on this timeline. So once that hugely important April 7 date has come and gone, it's time for one final, but critical, check in if you happen to be among those expecting your $2,000 stimulus payment through electronic direct deposit. I'd encourage you to log into your online banking portal first thing on Friday, April 8 and do a thorough search for any deposit around that $2,000 mark hitting your account over the previous few days. For most of you, it should hopefully be sitting there waiting. 
But let's say you get through those deposits and transactions with a fine-toothed comb, and for whatever reason you're just not seeing that $2,000 stimulus money show up despite being slated to receive it through direct deposit. Well, in that case, it's time to go straight to the IRS and relevant federal agency to figure out what the heck is going on. Do not simply write it off or assume it'll show up eventually. That money is legally yours, and you need to be persistent to get every penny. Your very first move should be going back to that Get My Payment portal on the IRS website and retrieving the latest status update for your $2,000 payment. Look for any error codes, adjustment messages, or notes on any issues they may have flagged with your payment. Take clear notes on any information the portal provides related to your specific payment status. That will prove critical when trying to get a human being on the case to investigate. Provide the agent with your full name, physical and mailing addresses, social security number, and details on whether you receive social security, SSDI, SSI, or VA benefits. Give them any additional information or notes you gathered from the Get My Payment Portal status on your payment. Explain clearly that your $2,000 stimulus payment via direct deposit is not showing up in your account as expected by the April 7 deadline, despite following all instructions to the letter. Ask them to open an official payment trace to locate where that money ended up and why it didn't arrive. The representative should then be able to look into your case more thoroughly, trace where the payment ended up if it was sent out, and provide detailed instructions on next steps to getting the situation fully rectified as soon as possible. That's it for today's video, if you found this information useful. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the latest financial news.